Hi guys, um, thanks for joining me. I've literally just finished gluing my circle Hobros uh, models here. This is uh, Chromac the Ravenous. Sorry, just having to look at the title on the box here. I've literally just stuck his arm on with super glue about 30 seconds ago and it's not budging. Why? Because of this. My activator for glue. I can't recommend that enough. Oh, I'm so tired of sticking bits of metal on hold and try, hold it there for like 10 minutes and then letting go and it falling off. No more. This stuff is awesome. I was able to glue this in seconds. It's done. He's ready for priming. They both are. This is him in uh, human form, I'm guessing. Uh, that was my free model from... Um, Salute when I bought the starter kit. Yeah. Not bad, eh? Paint them up. Can't wait to do that. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd share that. Um, my only other observations on the, the Privateer Press uh, models, and you get them in here, right, comparing them with, say, the Finecast models of old from Warhammer, but, um, they've got ups and downs. Um, the downside of the Game to Action one is you have to split the pack and you have to, well, wreck it to get the stuff out. Fair enough. But this one, you can kind of open it and close it as many times as you want. Use it as a pallet, whatever. Um, the only downside with these private press ones is they don't have a picture of the model in question. Like, they got some models on the back, but it's not the one, often not the one you're using, or painting, or putting together. It'd be nice to have something, like old oh, Captain Sicarius here. It'd be nice to have something, some form of uh, reference. Just something, I suppose. But anyway, there. There you go. Two more models ready for painting. See you on the next one, guys. Bye for now.